Hi, I'm Dunchy. Now there's a really, really stupid issue in the free version of DaVinci Resolve for Linux. And that is, if I go and open up a folder, like a directory, and I try to import a compressed video format, so like for example, .mp4, you'll see that it doesn't really import. It imports like an audio file and doesn't really, you know, import anything. It's, it's like as if it doesn't exist. And the only footage you can actually import in DaVinci Resolve, the free version for Linux, is uncompressed.mov. Not all .mov, it's like a specific codec of .mov. And as you can see, I imported the outro using the videos, and, and that, as you can see, is, you know, showing in the actual editor. I can, you know, scroll through it and everything. It, it all looks good. The issue obviously is, is that what if I want to import a compressed piece of footage? Now, luckily, I created some scripts that let you uncompress any .mp4 file. I've also created a compression script because when you render in DaVinci Resolve, what often happens is that you render an uncompressed video file format. It's the only thing that DaVinci Resolve, the free version for Linux, can actually Actually render too. So that means you also gotta compress that, and I got a script for that too. I call the scripts collectively Vinci Convert. They're two easy scripts to convert footage for use in DaVinci Resolve and to compress the renders that you get from DaVinci Resolve, obviously the free version, because for some reason in the studio version for Linux, this isn't an issue. So this is really easy to install. There's just a very, very simple installation guide. Just open up your terminal real quick. I'll make this bigger so you can actually see stuff. Make sure you're in the home directory, so that'd be a little squiggle in the corner, uh, copy paste the first command, git clone, and then my repository, just, you know, cloning the repository, specifically press enter, and as you can see, it downloads the repository for us. Okay, now all we gotta do is cd into the actual directory, then we gotta chmod the install script, so this basically makes it so you can actually run the install script itself, so just copy paste that command and press enter. And then remember to run the script as a super user, so sudo dot forward slash install sh, press enter, and that should have installed the scripts for us. So let's test this out. I made a little folder on my desktop called videos. Okay, so this is the videos directory. As you can see, there's a piece of compressed footage and a piece of uncompressed footage. If I wanted to import bleep.mp4 into DaVinci Resolve, you'll see that it doesn't really import so if I wanted to import it, I'd have to uncompress it. So that's really easy to do. I'm already in the directory, as you can see. All I gotta do is type in V uncompress. As you can see, it auto-completes because uh, oh yeah, I just press tab and the script is installed in the system. I press enter. And as you can see, it uncompressed. This is a short little piece of footage, it doesn't take long. I can put that into my little editor, and as you can see, the footage imports. So now I can use this footage, despite the fact it was compressed before, in DaVinci Resolve. Now note that the actual uncompressed footage often takes more space, so this was uh, 3.2 megabytes, this is 4.1 megabytes, so the difference is much, much bigger with bigger files and, you know, more complicated imagery, you know, harder to compress files. They will uncompress into much larger file types. Now, imagine I rendered something in DaVinci Resolve. So I rendered this little outro that you saw before here. So this thing over here, the thing I have at the end of all my videos. Imagine I rendered that into some kind of project and then I got the file outro.mov. So as you know, DaVinci Resolve renders to uncompressed file formats, like for example, this .mov file. And if you look at the corner, it's one gigabyte in size. That is incredibly large. If I quickly go and type in the command v compress, it's going to actually compress that render and make it small so I can upload it to YouTube or do something else with it that I need it to be compressed for. So mostly upload it to online sites. So I just press enter. Now there's a little bit of an issue in the script where what it does is it conflicts with .mp4 files when compressing. That's not really an issue most of the time because if you're compressing a render, you probably won't have other .mp4 files. But just to be safe, just type in n and press enter and everything should just be fine. As you can see here, it's compressing the footage into outro.mp4. Okay, so now you can clearly see that it's all done. And outro.mov, so that will be our render from DaVinci Resolve, is one gigabyte in size. Well, outro.mp4 before is 22 megabytes in size. So that's the example of the script obviously compressing the things. This is a very simple FFmpeg script, just a simple bash script that just looks for every mp4 file or every .mov file that it could possibly compress or uncompress. I, I, I recommend it if you use DaVinci Resolve on Linux because you can just go into a folder, type in vcompress or type in 
v-uncompress and you automatically just are able to compress and uncompress all your footage easily. This isn't a problem in other video editors for Linux. I'm very confused why the DaVinci Resolve team even really has this in their software for only Linux for some reason. And the studio version itself can read compressed footage, so I'm confused why that's the way it is, but... Okay, anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little video. If you plan to use DaVinci Resolve on Linux, here's just a little script to make it far more easier. Thanks for watching.